Hello everyone, Happy New Year! I hope you had a relaxing break and your year has been wonderful so far. I am super excited to be back and I can't wait to continue cooking with you. Today we'll be making a beloved comfort dish, chicken pot pie. We're going to start the pot pie making a broth or a stock uh, and then we're going to make the filling. For this stock, the ingredients are a whole chicken, onions, leeks, parsley, carrots, garlic, and celery. Bring the stock to a boil. The water is boiling, so I'm going to transfer the pot to a smaller burner and let it simmer for about 45 minutes. We have potato, peas, pearl onions, carrots, thyme, bay leaf, sage, sherry wine, heavy cream, all-purpose flour, unsalted butter, black pepper and salt. We're going to peel and small dice the potatoes, bring salted water to a boil in a pot and partially cook for about five minutes. We're going to peel and slice the carrots and in a pot with boiling and salted water, we're going to partially cook for about three minutes. I'm going to make a herb sachet with some cheesecloth and strings, but this is completely optional. You can just add your herbs to the pot pie and pull it before we bake it. So our chicken is ready to be taken out. I will take some of the herbs so it make it easier for us. So now carefully, what I like to do is get the tongue inside the cavity. Let the water come out and with the help of the strainer, we're gonna let our chicken cool. We're going to separate the chicken breast and the thighs out of the bones and peel the skin off and dice chicken for about one inch. So we're gonna start making a roux, add butter, Now we're gonna add our flour. Cook roux for about five minutes. We skin chicken stock slowly. Decrease the heat to low and simmer for about 10 minutes. Stirring often until thickened and creamy. Add sherry wine add herb sachet season with salt and pepper bring to a boil and lower the heat Discard the herb sachet. Add the chicken and vegetables to the pot. I feel pretty good about the consistency. 
I like my pot pie a little bit more to the creamier side. If you would like to freeze this pot pie, now it's the time and stop the cooking, cool it off and pour it in containers and put it in the freezer. Otherwise, you can add your cream. Now I'm gonna add my heavy cream. Sprinkle flour on the counter. I am using puff pastry. This is my pastry of choice, but you can use pie crust or top with biscuits. I like puff pastry. I like the flakiness about it. It makes the best pot pie. Using, I have a pizza roller, but you can use a knife, a peri knife. And you're gonna come around your vessel. I'm doing family style. You can do it individuals. You can do it for two servings. I will use some of the egg wash. You press on the side. And now, I will use some of the egg wash around. Have some sesame seed that's optional and ready to bake. The pot pie has been cooking for 26 minutes and it's done. So I will pull it up. Beautiful. Ooh, look at the knives. Smells really good. See all the layers. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe and you make it at home and you have as much fun as I did making it for you. And I will see you in the next video. Take care and be safe.